Hello YouTube, Fuzz here, bringing you more Final Fantasy IX today. We're going to be continuing on with our Excalibur 2 Perfect Game series. And if you're following along with the Thomas's Guide, this is going to cover section D3-10. So I've no idea what to expect. Hopefully it'll be a fun one. Let's find out. If you enjoy watching, don't forget to leave a like and let's get on with today's show. First things first, and before we actually go into the castle, or it'll be too late afterwards, open up Amaranth and remove his gear. Especially the Jade Arm, that we're going to need that on Zidane in a moment's time. And uh, Amaranth is going to temporarily leave in a moment, so there is an option we get to choose with him. But it doesn't matter what we choose, he's still going to leave, so just button mash at this point until we get through the cutscene. And then we'll go ahead and sort our party out. So there was the option, doesn't matter what we chose, and we're just going to go ahead and bring Queena into the bat uh, into the party. And then before we do anything else, we're going to go ahead and sort out equipment. So Zidane will be using his Exploder, a uh, Black Hood, the Jade Armlet we just took off Amarant, the Adamant Vest, and finally, uh, yeah, the Reflect Ring, that's right. Right, Flame Saber for Steiner, good job I didn't sell those actually earlier on. I was thinking if he was going to be using them again. Thunder Gloves, Shield Armour, and finally a Lapis Luzil. And the second one's going to be going to good use as well, uh, on Freya in fact. So Lapis Luzil, Linen Curious, Mithril Gloves, and Bar Boot, and finally the standard Boring Old Javelin. Right for Queen of, just the Fork, Green Beret, Egoist Armlet. Survival vest. And finally some fairy earrings. Uh, where were they hiding out? There they are. Right, let's just sort out abilities now. And try and do this as quick as we can to try and catch up on some more time again. Uh, so we want distract, master thief. Uh, we don't want devil killer. We do want ability up and bandit. Uh, there's master thief. Ability up and bandit please. Ability up, we've got that equipped. And bandit, wonderful stuff. Right, for Steiner, he's going to want Accuracy Plus, Distract, uh, Add Status, and finally Ability Up as well. And then Freya is going to want Distract and Ability Up. Does she have Ability Up equipped? Let's just have a look. Yeah, she does. Okay, I guess Antibody can stay on as well. It's not hurting anybody. And then for Queena, just Ability Up will do the job fine. And there we have it. Let's head inside. And we're going to start by... Oh dear, going for the door at the back. And as you can see, there's a Moogle waiting for us. So we're going to do Mognet. As with the other episodes, so that you can have break opportunities, we're going to go ahead and split this section up into mini sessions. So we'll go ahead and save now, and this will be the end of our first mini session. So we do have a boss fight coming up, which does require quite a bit on RNG actually. So we'll see how we get on with that. Uh, it can take a few attempts, especially if it opens with an AoE magic attack that's going to one-shot the party. Which you can do even if you use battle assist, so just be wary of that. Right, so head up that ladder there and over through the doorway at the end of the room. And then into the next doorway here. And then we've got a few ladders to climb. So you'll probably want to keep on safe travel at this point to avoid those enemy encounters. You can actually avoid them all anyway, uh, just by being lucky. But it doesn't hurt to take luck out of the equation, as they say. And then we're going to go up to the top of this ladder and through this door and over to this lift here. Right, so in this next area we'll have another cutscene, so we'll go ahead and speed things up. And Amaranth's going to continue acting cool. And then make his way out. And so now what we're going to do is head into this area and collect all four of these mirrors. So this is where the RNG is about to kick in. Just going to turn the speed buff off for the moment so that we can definitely loot that. And one more cutscene and here's the boss. So with this boss, we need to kill him with Steiner by using his Flame Saber attack, which has a 10% chance of casting heat. 
but also Zidane does need to go ahead and steal uh, an item known as the Orichalcon, and everybody needs to survive the battle as well. So let's see how we get on, shall we? This is actually my second attempt at this fight. The first didn't go so well, but I'll just leave it at that. Uh, but hopefully this one will go a little bit better. So I do recommend using Battle Assist just to make sure that Zidane and Steiner have full ATBs and keep using it throughout the battle as well. Make sure you get that Uri Kalkin, don't forget. Very, very important. And then to keep people alive, uh, everyone does need to be alive by the end until Steiner manages to get his heat attack off. And then that will be the end. Brilliant stuff. That was a nice quick fight and it went quite well. I did have to use a Phoenix down as you saw. But other than that, everything went well and we managed to steal the Orichalcum as well. Okay, so next thing the guy tells us to do is to remove everybody's uh, equipment except for Sidan. So we'll keep Sidan equipped. We'll take everybody else's equipment off at this point. Uh, did I do Queen? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay. And now we're going to make our way back out of Ibsen's castle. There we go. That's better. Up here. Down we go. Just the same way that we came in before and up the pole. Oops. I think it's a good idea if we turn this off now, isn't it? in the speed function. Let's just go ahead and save before we make any more stupid mistakes. Okay. It does say save on the way out in the guide. But let's go all the way out now. Okay, this gives us the cutscene, that's what we're after. Okay, after having saved, we're going to go ahead and exit Ibsen's castle, and that's going to trigger a cutscene for us. When we get down to the bottom anyway. So Zidane's going to go and look for Amarant. And we're just going to do this by heading back into the courtyard area. And then making our way back down the pole. Or you could fall down one of the holes, it doesn't really matter. Either way, you want to end up back here. Oh, I won't speed up just yet, we need to do a little bit of running. And now, look who we find, it's Amaranth. And we're going to have a few cutscenes now and end up back on the airship. Uh, we have to uh, travel back manually, I did forget about that. So same way we came, but now we've got Amaranth in the party as well. Although we're not going to be using him because <laughs> we don't want to be using uh, jumping into any battles. So there's no save on this run past the Moogle. 
Right, now the cutscenes are here. Yep. Okay, so we're going to form with Steiner, Vivi, and Queena at this particular moment in time. And we're just going to head south to the first shrine. And there's a cutscene. And then after that, we'll be back on board the airship. Oh, we do get the opportunity to reform, but we're not going to. Okay, next up, we're flying uh, northeast to the next island. Let's just slow things down a touch here. I think we've just gone past it because of the speed. And it's just over here, the fire shrine. And lo and behold, another cutscene. Okay, so next up we're going to fly uh, off the top of the screen here. And it's really hard to see where I'm going with these camera, stupid camera angles. Let's just slow things down a touch because it's going to just cost us more time than anything else. Go, move. This is where we're going, just up here. Okay, this is Daguro, or whatever this place is called. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save before we go in. This will bring us to the end of the next mini session. Now, if you are following along with the Thomas's guide, just remember we're doing the combined stats. So things are going to work a little bit differently when we come to equipping our characters. So if you think I'm doing things different to what the guide says, make sure you're following the combined version of it, not the uh, normal text. So we're going to start by heading left and then pulling the left lever. And we're going to pull that twice, revealing a hole in the wall where the lift has moved down. So we're going to need to go and examine this. And once we've examined it, we're going to go and grab this wooden pole. And Zidane will automatically go and put that over in the lift. And then we're going to go back over to these lever levers, <laughs> to these levers, levers, whatever you want to call them, and move the right one twice. And now we've got a lot of shopping to do, so I hope you're ready. We're going to head up here. And here's the weapon shop. And we're going to sell a whole bunch of stuff first. Oh, before we actually get to the selling, just to make things easier so that we've all got everything in the same order, go to Arrange, Auto Arrange. That way you'll match up the order with the Thomas's Guide. And we're going to sell a Remedy. We're going to do what he says. Six Antidotes, five Eye Drops, three Soft. There's a couple of things I don't have that he says to sell. So we'll just have to manage without selling those. Five anointments. Uh, two vaccine. I've only got one. Because we missed out on a load of battles. Because of the safe travel earlier on. Two tents. A rising sun. Twelve wing edge. I've only got eleven. But that's fine. Uh, claws next. Cat claws. The flute. Of Lamia's variety. A mithril rod. I've already sold... My two oak staff, but we do need to sell a high mage staff as well. But two oak staff if you have them still. Uh, two glass armlets. Yep, that's right. Uh, the thief's gloves, I really hope we don't need these. But I guess a 25,000 gear is far more important. So I'm going to trust the Thomas on that. Uh, the two ritual hats. Uh, one red hat. A golden hairpin. A little bit further down to the gold helm. A silk shirt. Uh, two Adam and Vesper, I've only got the one. A brigandine. And a Gaia gear. Plate mail. Shield armour. Demon's mail. Feather boots. Anklet. And just one more thing. And an extension. Right, hopefully I've got everything there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and purchase. We're not going to purchase Zorlin's shape yet. We're going to purchase two Rune Blades. 
two obelisk, two tiger fangs, a sewers rod times two, two of everything basically except the last thing, two hamelin, two octagon rods, and finally, right at the bottom, three diamond armour. And we are done. Okay, so we're going to go and exit this area now. And this is where the guide tells you to equip Sedan and Queena in a certain fashion, but we're not going to. Instead, we're just going to go ahead and leave the town. Just make sure we got no encounters on. Uh, right, I'm going to go ahead and equip now in the combined form. Combined stats guide. So we're going to go ahead and bring Sedan into the front row. And just remove his gear because we want him to die so he doesn't get experience. And then moving over to Queen. Now I don't unfortunately have the Lord, the Robe of Lords, whatever it's called. Uh, but not to worry about that. We're going to give Queen of the Silver Fork, the Holy Mitre, the Ankai Armlet, uh, the Robe of Lords, which I don't have. And finally, a pretty nice ribbon. And then we're going to go ahead and save. And some fun stuff coming up in a moment. We're going to be levelling Queener.